Good morning. <clears throat> it is early in the morning. I am getting ready to go water aerobics this morning. I want to talk about my little friend, Mandy. Oh, Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. Her YouTube name is Mr. Granda. M R G R A N D A. Sweetheart, you had me in tears when you did that video. I've decided, and you decided to go back to water aerobics. Woohoo for water aerobics! Um, <clears throat> yeah, you're making that step. And then you went, you did another video on your walking video. And to see you walking in the park with your daughter, oh, girl, you had my heart. You're starting. You're taking that step. You're doing it. Don't give up, sweetie. You are doing it. I know I've told you over and over again how I started just walking 10 minutes three times a day. And my ankles would hurt. My feet would hurt. It would, it would be like I have a really bad toe and my toe would give out on me sometimes. But I knew I had to do something. This was even before surgery. I knew I had to do something because I couldn't even walk in Walmart. I couldn't walk long distance. And I could not see myself getting in those little cars and driving here and there in the grocery store. So I would always use a cart and I would hold on to the cart. My husband would bring the cart to the side of the vehicle and I would hold on to the cart and I would walk you know and then by the time I got home I would be exhausted and I would look people I would look at people in the parking lot and I would say how can they walk so much and not get tired you know I would see their expressions they'd be talking while they were I mean they'd be talking 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 while they'd be walking all through the park and stuff and I go I wish I I would always say to myself I wish I had that energy I wish I had that energy well, now I have that energy, and it all started last year. You know, I lost 61 pounds before surgery, and it was the best thing I could have ever done for myself. You know, this is not easy, but we have to do this. We have to do this for ourselves. And number one is exercise. We have to move. If you, I mean, you're doing wonderful, sweetheart, just to, for you to go out and, and, and be out there in the park with your children. That's amazing. That is amazing. Um, all I can tell you is take one step at a time, like you said in your video, when you're putting one foot over the other and you're doing it. Mwah! I'm so proud of you. I am so proud of you. So for all those that are just now walking the road and they're start, you're starting your journey with your exercise, you have to find the motivation. You have to find the determination within you. Within you. You get up in the mornings and you go, I can't do this. I'm exhausted. Take a break. Go do something. I don't know. Something. And then you'll get that motivation. It'll still be up here. And it'll be, it'll be nodding and nodding at you until you go and do it. You know, you might not do it until the afternoon. Maybe that workout in the afternoon is better for you because you can take a good nap and go to sleep. <laughs> you never know. you got to find ways to get yourself to get up and do what you got to do. Um, I'm so thankful for this surgery. So thankful to have this tool. But I have found that for me, my one exercise, as you all know, is because I preach it here all the time, is water aerobics. Um, last night, uh, this lady that goes to the pool with me all the time, she's a sweetheart. She sees this woman coming into the pool. And this, is what, this was already the middle of the water aerobics. And she looks at me and she says, Connie, do you remember you used to look like that? And I looked at, at her and I said, how could I forget? Well, she thought I said that I had forgotten. And I looked at her and I said, no. I could never forget where I came from. I do remember. 
I do remember that I couldn't walk. I do remember the pain that I used to feel every day. I do remember having to, you know, do my grocery shopping with my husband and keep a smile on my face and walk around the store and pretend that I was having a good time. Or when we would go to a friend's house and I couldn't sit comfortably in a chair and smile and act like I was happy. Yeah, I remember. So she thought I said I didn't remember. I do remember. I can never forget where I've come from. And all I can say is you got to start somewhere. you got to start somewhere. you got to find that energy somewhere. And I'm so proud of you, Mandy. And I'm so proud for all the Mandys that are out there that are starting. I just had to say this. So I don't want to make the video too long. But love you. And keep doing what you're doing. Mwah. Everyone have a great weekend. God bless.